Approximately 16,000 cases per year are diagnosed in the UK alone. It particularly targets young children and the young adult. Once diagnosed, most patients die within one year of initial diagnosis. We still do not know much about its biology. Relatives and friends suffer a great deal too, to see their loved ones change. Peter was diagnosed in 2002 and died in May 2004. During those two years, he became gradually worse and worse. And of course, it involves a really tricky personality change. So I'm a paediatrician training and specialising in oncology. And unfortunately, I see many children with brain tumours in my clinic. Paediatric brain tumours are the most common solid tumours of childhood and as a group of tumours they are associated with a good overall outlook with 73% survival at five years. However, within this group of tumours there are particular diagnoses associated with much poorer outcomes and these are really the diagnoses that are devastating to parents and the children involved. These children will quickly develop a short history of symptoms such as headaches, vomiting, visual changes and change in balance and following diagnoses these children will have to undergo intensive treatment with surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. However, despite such an intensive approach to treatment these children do have terrible outcomes and it really is for these children that we really need to focus on looking at new therapeutic approaches in order to try to improve the outcome for children's brain tumours as a whole. Over the last 10 years there hasn't been any significant change in survival rates. There have been some improvements over the last 20 where we know that adjuvant radiotherapy and chemotherapy can help improve survival rates. But over the last 10 years, beyond that, we haven't got a great deal of improvement. It is still a deadly disease. It still kills virtually all patients within about a year to 18 months of diagnosis, even with chemotherapy and radiotherapy. So the survival rates are universally poor. There are emerging trends in research looking at the DNA and genetic background to these tumours and looking at the more specific architecture within the tumours, trying to target those. And that's where research is just so important because if we're going to do anything to treat this disease, it's going to be by radically altering how we go about treating them. I'm a senior research fellow here at Leeds University, funded by the PPR Foundation. We are very interested in brain tumours since they are such devastating diseases. They are particularly de devastating because once the initial tumour has uh, started to grow, it will spread into healthy parts of the brain, receding and growing again. So we are looking into ways in targeting these highly mobile cells. We're doing that by looking at a new range of drugs uh, which are called anti-migratory drugs. Challenges that we face in uh, brain tumour are, uh, can be regarded as uh, into different aspects. The first aspect that it's very difficult to access uh, tumor inside the skull without having the risk, high risk of morbidity and mortality after the surgery. Here it is a normal brain and you can see what we call the cortex and the white matter and here is a brain with a tumor and here if you look at it you can't identify the normal edge of the tumor. So, so just it's a continuity between the tumor and the normal tissue. And even in normal looking, very normal looking area like that, you'll see uh, tumor cells infiltrating. Through my research, I want to determine the pathways involved in brain tumors and hopefully come up with new drugs to target them to stop them growing and spreading to other parts of the brain. Here in the lab, we have made mini tumors from brain tumor cells. With these, we embed them into a substance that resembles the brain, and we can observe the mobility of the cells from the core of the tumor into the surrounding brain tissue. I'm investigating in more detail the drugs that we have already discovered to come up with new inhibitors to stop these cells migrating to healthy parts of the brain. By targeting the migrating cells, we are hoping to keep these cells within the site of the original tumour and by keeping them immobilised virtually in their tracks, we are hoping then to target these cells with other therapies such as radiotherapy or chemotherapy, killing them off. So we are hoping with these drugs to stop migration into healthy parts of the brain. During a long protracted period of grief, 
I looked at an awful lot of statistics and brain tumour research is woefully underfunded. I started off with a one pound coin from a stranger and we've now raised well over half a million pounds. PPR Foundation pride themselves that we don't take anything out. Every penny given to us for the research project goes into the research project. Brain tumours are often referred to as the forgotten cancer. I would actually disagree with this because I think until somebody's life in the main is touched by a patient, a relative, a friend with a brain tumour, only then do they learn about it. So it's not forgotten. In my opinion, it's virtually unknown. And we actually need to get this out into the public arena to let people know that this exists. This kills more people under the age of 40 than any other cancer. We are absolutely positive that a cure and a breakthrough will be found. Leeds is aiming to be the centre of excellence for neuro-oncology in the UK. We are seeing results already and together with the PPR Foundation we will succeed. But we need to talk about it more. It needs to be public. This should not be about speaking the unspoken. PPR have done amazingly well to fund this vital work. Of course we are always seeking more help and support to understand this disease. And if anyone watching this feels they can help financially or wants to help in any way, do get in touch. And on this particular day, wear a hat today and donate.